Welcome back to the channel, baby. I thought I sorted the four of you, and then I thought I hadn't, and now I know I have. And that's why I breached for the camera. You don't need to know all that. Um, so yesterday I was working on videos, and I did one, and uh, I put it out, and of course it got blocked, and I was irritated. I had to go back in and do it over again, which I have done. I was going to do some more that I'm going to set up, and all of a sudden half my room went out. Uh, can feel, can, Consumed all of my computer stuff. I was writing a song as well, gone. And uh, I ran around like a chicken with my head cut off. I was very upset. I checked everything, checked, checked the breaker box, and I couldn't find it. So I called my brother, who uh, is retired, but he's had history in uh, electricity, working that kind of stuff for years and years. And uh, he walked in and walked over to the breaker box. He flipped the switch. And I had done that a thousand times, but he, he, told me there's a different way to do it now but i don't know because i never do that anyway regardless where well, you're up and running um so what am i doing right now <laughs> i'm starting to catch up on a lot of your suggestions so please send me more um i'm going to do a suggestion that goes a ways back but this this person that is going out for knows that because he sends me a lot and uh and sometimes i don't get to him i get to a lot of his um, <clears throat> this goes out to Jeff Kerr, who just got off the phone with. He's a good friend. His picture was on my refrigerator when we were asking for pictures for the other channel. He, was a good, he looks like a deranged Santa. Oh, he's one of my favorite people in the world, though. Uh, so going out to him. This is, um, hopefully it won't get blocked. But uh, he loves Rita Coolidge. And... Um, so I decided I wanted to do something for him. He might have suggested something by her. I can't find it uh, in my emails. But what I was going to do was Brady Coolidge and Chris Christopherson, which he and I talked about, uh, doing the Open Make It Through the Night. And then I want to do uh, Willie's version first, because that's the first version I ever heard of the song. Now, a lot of people have done it. And I want to just read the list of people who have done this, because it so surprised me. Um, Sammy Smith, um, her sons, um, I know them well. I won't bring up their names because they might mind not want me to. But uh, she had sons that I went to uh, junior high and high school with, or junior high school with. And uh, I saw them not too long ago. They came over, we came a little bit. Um, well, of course, Willie Nelson. Um, let's see, uh, Chris again by himself. Um, Freddie Fender, uh, let's see, Johnny Cash and Jim Carter Cash, um, let's see, The Highwaymen, which is Chris and, and some of the other guys, Willie probably, Corey Morgan, um, Chris Jansen, Michael Blue Blay. that's crazy to me. Anyway, I just want to read that to you because I was looking for the Willie video to go with the uh and i saw these names like you're kidding me i didn't realize how many people have done the song now um sammy smith goes way back but but chris wrote it and uh, she's saying it a long, long time ago probably in the 70s maybe but anyway we're going to get this going because i want you to see it let me do this okay all right Hopefully you guys can hear me, and you know, this is uh, Willie Nelson helping me make it through the night, and I couldn't find the live version, which is the one that I'm used to. I couldn't find it, it wasn't on Willie's channel, and I'm trying to take it a block. So here we go. Take the ribbons from your hair. Shake them loose and let them fall Let them fall against your chin Like the shadows on the wall Come and lay down by my side In the early morning light All I'm taking is your time Help me make it through the night 
Discuss real brief, briefly. I get the other one up. Um, so, what do you think? Um, I know a lot of people who can't stand White House, and, and I understand. I mean, some of me doesn't under, <coughs> understand because he's a genius and he's talented. Uh, but some of you know, it's the voice, and they want you know um, better voices. Maybe first of all, he sings on pace very well, in my opinion. He does have gravelly or rough kind of voice like I do. He sings very nasally, uh, but there's something about his voice that I'm just entranced with, and I have been most of my life. I remember Harry and Willie uh, with my mom. I was in a truck with my mom a long time ago, and she uh, had a cassette, probably a seat, an A-track even, in the truck, <clears throat> and she put it in. It was Willie Nelson and Friends Alive, and I think that was the first time I've ever heard him. Now, once it was in the 70s, probably, and I was totally, immediately enamored with him and his voice. And since then, of course, I've, I own most of the albums. Now, I, I'm not really a country guy, uh, but I never really considered him such. Maybe he is, but I mean, the hardcore country, like some of it, some of it I really like, and I believe I've probably done some of this on this channel, but mostly not so much. But there's something about him that's wild. He's from Texas, and you get that kind of cowboy feeling out of him. And I saw him in a movie where he played a cowboy, and he did a very good job. And so I just, what else is the man, as far as I'm concerned? So now what are we going to do? Well, now we're going to do, um, let's go to, again to Jeff Kerr. Uh, we're going to do uh, Chris Christopherson and Reed Coolidge. And he and I were talking today, and I said, well, you know, wasn't she married to, to, uh, because Ray Coolidge is his, you know, other than his wife, it's the love of his life. Um, and uh, he said, yes, they were married for a couple of years in the 70s. And so when I was trolling around looking for a song, I saw that. And I wanted to do it for you, brother. So here we go. This is Reedy, Reedy, sorry, Chris Christopherson, Reedy Coolidge, help me make it through the night, live in 72. Here we go. There are updated versions of this that I might do later, like newer artists that do this as well. And I would urge you to look it up too. All right, here we go. Oops. Hey, 
shake it loose and let it fall Laying soft against my skin Like the shadows on the wall Nice. Come and lay down by my side Till the early morning light Ooh, she gives you All I'm taking is your time Sophia will discuss. Um, wow, what you think? Now, um, I thought it was great. Before I go into the, their performance together, that bass player was he playing a Hoffner? It looked like a Hoffner bass um, that Paul played in the Beatles. And when I saw Paul um, um, with, um, well, it's just Paul. But, Paul had a band behind him and he was playing Hoffner through part of it and through part of it he just sang. Um, and I saw an interview with him where he talked about the Hoffner and how it was a great bass, had great tone, but it, it had the hardest time keeping it in tune. So I don't know enough about that bass. I've seen them, never sold one, never played one. But I would love to, to, to really know more about it. So if you know about the Hoffner, let me know. <laughs> so this was in 72. Chris Christopherson could sing. He can't sing today, but he really could sing then. And and but it was the milieu, it was the, the feeling that you got from seeing them together. And they really looked like they were in love, especially her. But remember in 72, their version is, wasn't really considered country at all. They were considered pop, both of them, especially Rita Coolidge, uh, was considered more of a pop artist than a uh, than a country artist. Uh, but I think it happened in both. I think that the, the, the times were that people accepted it both, right? Uh, you'd have pop radio. I remember pop radio in the 70s would have, you know, country-esque songs and pop songs, right, on the same station. It wasn't until later that you had split out, right? And especially when when the newer technology came along, you could just pick a station you want to hear whether it's just country or just rock and roll or whatever. Um, I thought it was very, very good. I love her voice. I love the presentation that they were able to do live. Um, and I love Willie's voice. And, and again, Willie is one of those that I think he can sing, but a lot of people that don't think he can because of the nasal and, and all that. But I think that sets him apart. It gives him some character. Um, I saw, I've been to mention this before, but I saw Willie in concert a couple times. But I saw him, to, to took uh, my boss to see him because I talked about Willie all the time. He'd never seen him. His name is Tony. He's from Texas. <clears throat> I haven't seen Tony in years, so peace. I don't really feel like we're even see this. But um, we, we went to a concert, and what was, he was so 
his band and him were they were so in your face and energetic and the last song they opened with was whiskey river which if you don't know this song please look it up please look up the live version later in willie's life not this late but later um and they did whiskey river and at the end they dropped this american flag down huge right uh and during the solos and then the, the not too long after they dropped this huger texas flag behind it and this neither knew there but it always left an impression on me uh, so jeff i hope you like this brother it's for you and uh, it was nice to talk to you this morning hey guys if you like this uh do me a favor hit like subscribe please. like give me a thumbs up on your way out subscribe to the channel if you haven't already please uh share with your friends um and uh comment down below send me some more suggestions uh best place to send them you can leave them below here and i'll get to them best place to send them where they'll get immediately reacted to or close closer to immediate is another cover lover 16 all one word 16 at gmail.com and uh and that's the best way to get in the best place to send them uh, but you can't leave them here. If you have comments, you liked it, didn't like it, that's fine. Leave them here. Uh, be kind to each other. Okay, that's all I ask is if, if you like one but way better than the other, then you can say that. But but don't get into a fight. And uh, you know, don't insult the choice of the other person. That's all I ask. All right, peace. Thanks for coming by and look forward to seeing you again.